Hello and welcome back to Dr. Logic Awkwardly Does Logic in Her Office. Super awkwardly because this is now about the fifth time that I've tried to record this particular video. Anyway, in the previous video, I introduced you to the notion of the truth conditions for categorical propositions using the notion of interpretation that we introduced again in an earlier video. What I want to talk about in this one is more definitions because we love definitions here in logic land, but they are not going to be prop, uh, definitions that apply to individual propositions. They're going to be definitions that apply to pairs of propositions. Because in general, when we are developing the syllogistic, we are not interested in the truth and falsity of individual sentences. What we are interested in is when does the truth or falsity of a sentence have implications for the truth or falsity of other sentences. It's these relations between sentences that are of interest to a logician. In this video, we're just going to look at relationships between pairs of propositions. In future videos, we will get to more complicated definitions, but let's stick with the ones that just involve pairs. So let me bring up my handy dandy whiteboard and let's move that out of the way, get my text box. The first notion that I want to introduce you to or to define is the notion of contradictory pairs. So definition, two categorical propositions are contradictories if there's two conditions here that they have to meet in order to be contradictories. They cannot both be true on the same interpretation and cannot both be false again on the same interpretation. Everything that we are going to be talking about here is interpretation relative. We fix an interpretation and then look at the relationships between propositions. If you have a collection of sentences and you're varying the interpretation, then of course you're gonna have some of them being true and some of them being false without necessarily any relation between them. If you change the meaning of your terms, you can say whatever you want. So we're not doing that. We're fixing the interpretation and then moving on. So that's the first notion, contradictory pairs. The second is that two categorical propositions are contraries if they cannot both be true on the same interpretation. Interpretation. So this is, as you can see, a weaker notion than the notion of contradictory. This is because contradictory has two conditions it has to meet Contraries only have the one. The next one, now I bet you're already sitting here thinking, I bet I know what the condition for the next definition is going to be, even if you don't know the name of the term that we're going to be defining. If we were doing this face-to-face, -face, I would probably stop, ask you guys, what do you think the condition is going to be for this third definition? Nice lingering pause. We aren't face to face, so I can't solicit your answers, but I hope that that gave you a chance to kind of figure out what's the missing piece. So two categorical propositions are, the notion we're defining here is subcontrary, if they cannot both be false on the same interpretation. So if you said that during my lingering pause, give yourself a gold star, because that is exactly right. So again, there we go much nicer. The notion of being sub, uh, uh, subcontrary is a weaker notion than being contradictory. And indeed, if you take contrary and subcontrary and put them together, you get contradictories. Let me just see, can I go back in there? There, gotta have good grammar. There's one more definition that I would like to give you, which isn't about pairs of propositions having a certain property, but rather about naming a relationship between pairs of propositions. So we say that one proposition is subaltern to another if the truth of the latter implies the truth of the former. So two propositions, if this one being true means this one has to be true, this one is subaltern to this one. This one then is called the superaltern of the other one. So I will just add the other is the super alter. So it's the converse relation. 
I'll make this a bit more explicit so you don't need to worry if you don't know what a converse is or something like that. But these are the four definitions that we are interested in for properties between pairs of propositions. Now, I'm going to do something very cool. I am going to prove something. So let's see if we can get a new text box. This is something where I can even call it a theorem. So a theorem is a main result that you can get in a logical system or about a logical system. Because remember the object language, meta language distinction from an earlier video. So the theorem I'm going to prove is that for any categorical terms, X and Y, X, A, actually no, let's do the E's and the I's. X, E, Y and X, I, Y are contradictories. So this is unlike what we've had before where I've given you definitions of things and you can define things to be however you want. This is one of the glorious freedoms of being a logician. You can make up whatever definition you want. Theorems, on the other hand, have to be demonstrated that I have to give you an argument for them on the basis of the definitions that we have. So what are the relevant definitions? We have the definition of contradictory. And we also have the definition of truth and falsity. So you might not remember them from the previous video. So let me just give, here we go. As, oh, come on, come on. Draw, draw, there we go. So here is our proof. I'm going to start off by saying, recall the definition of truth. We know that some interpretation I makes X, E, Y true, if and only if, if you take everything that's an X and you look at everything that's an Y and ask yourself, is there anything that is in both of these? So that's what the intersection symbol right here stands for. If the answer is there is nothing that is in both the interpretation of X and the interpretation of Y. Now we have the interpretation of uh, an interpretation makes X I Y true. If and only if, if you look at the intersection of the interpretation of X and the interpretation of Y, what you have is not empty, that you do have at least one object that is in both of these interpretations. So what we need to show is that these are, to show that these are contradictories, we have to show that they cannot both be true on the same interpretation and they cannot both be false. So fix some interpretation. It doesn't matter what the interpretation is, but just pick one. Pick your favorite interpretation ever. Now, look at the interpretation of X and the interpretation of Y. What does their intersection look like? So either their intersection equals the empty set or it doesn't. These are the only options. You are either the empty set or you are not the empty set. And if you're not the empty set, you could be any of various other sets, but you're not the empty set. So if the interpretation of X intersected with the interpretation of Y is the empty set, then we know that X, E, Y is true and X, I, Y is false. Now consider the other case. If the interpretation of X intersected with the interpretation of Y is not the empty set, then we know that X, E, Y is the one that's false and X, 
IY is true. We get this just by looking at the definition of truth. So, never are they both true or both false. Whatever truth value one of them has, the other one has the opposite one. So, E and I claims are contradictories. You might already be developing some intuitions about what the relationships between the other ones are. So what about A and O claims? A and E, A and I. It would be really nice. We've got these four types of categorical propositions. We've got these four different uh, properties that they can have. Wouldn't it be nice if every single unique pairing had a different property? And in fact, spoiler, this is going to be the case. But I'm going to stop sharing now so that we can kind of wrap up this video. I will save the, uh, the full statement of what properties hold which prop uh, pairs of propositions for the next one. So see you in a little bit. Cheers.